Sync clap. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh, <laughs> try again. Three, two, one. Welcome to the official, unofficial Sea of Thieves podcast, a podcast dedicated to Sea of Thieves and other rare games, but mainly Sea of Thieves. And today, you'll notice that I, a shiny ray, will be hosting this episode. In the wake of Golden Sands and my loss, and its transformation into new Golden Sands, we'll get into the community reaction, how we feel about the adventure, and more. I'm not alone though, as I'll be having my wonderful co-host backing me up. It's Captain Blubber, it's Merrick's number one fanboy. Uh, I'm in the backseat again, but uh, I'm looking forward to Ray hosting again. You say backseat again, but I think this is the second time I've hosted or something like that. So Yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still a comfy spot. And not only that, but we are joined by a very special guest. Hello, it's me, the genie of Absolute Pixel. It's wonderful to have back. It's been a long time coming, so usually we get to know our guests with some icebreaker questions before we move <laughs> on to the main discussion. <laughs> Question, are you married to the name of the podcast? Are we what, sorry? <laughs> are you married to this name? I think we sh- I think we can do better than the official unofficial. Oh, you so know, he's, <laughs> he's already flipped the script on us. So. <laughs> there, was, there was this podcast on Minecraft a while back called The Shaft, which I thought was clever. Mm. This could be like the dock or the hideout. I think we I think I think I think we can do better than the official unofficial. You see, it was a placeholder name when I started, and my co-host back in the time was, "Oh, this works," and then we never changed <laughs> it. So, so that's that's the origin story. <laughs> so it would be the the abbreviation would be oh, so p- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> the, the official podcast did steal our name afterwards, so it wasn't that bad, I guess. Yeah, so, and they, so, they stole the logo as well, if I'm correct. They did, yeah. They stole your logo? Yeah. yeah. Man, those yeah. bastards. I can get in touch with Mike Chapman. <laughs> well, that's fine. We'll have a word with him. Don't worry. Did you I steal the official, unofficial CFE's podcast logo? That's a yes or no question. <laughs> 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 None of this. We, we felt very I strongly look- about this. Uh, new and interesting ways. No, Mike. Yes or no question. I had to interrupt. It was so fun, that interview. Uh, that was it was. So uh, See, I was wondering why Genie, why his grammar wasn't making sense, but you, you can't write sentences in the script, I see. You, you proofread it. It's, wow. No, it's literally what you said. It's wonderful to have back. <laughs> 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 it's what it says. So you're you... a native speaker, right? You're the only native speaker, and you're the one making mistakes. Yeah, it's in the intro. It's wonderful to have back. It's been a long time coming. See, I got my backpack, people. <laughs> Either way, it's good to have Genie back. Or good to have back. Um, it's so good we'll... to have back. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down. Um, we're going to have to move on to the icebreaker questions. Um, just, I'm sure everyone knows who you are, but it's just so people who don't know who you are get to know. Nah, they know. They know. They know. They know. They know. We're in doubt I'm... here, aren't we? You've planted the seed of doubt already. <laughs> I'm, they, they know it's, it's that guy he did the nitpicking <laughs> <laughs> Anchor's not Anchor's not centred on the ship etc etc which was the easter egg it was an easter egg in the season 7 trailer see I think you should get your name in the credits for that one I should I think I yeah I... We'll, we'll pass that over to Red get, get Genie in the credits for easter eggs that's, instead, of, instead of Legends of the Sea that's yours Legends of the Sea I mean what do you not remember Legends of the Sea? No. You know when everyone, well, not everyone, people got their Easter eggs, didn't they, in the game? Like um, Crow's Nest got the his logo on Crow's Nest Fortress, and Ash Bacon had the Megalodon, I think it's Salty Sands or something like that, and the Griffin yeah, and the, the Banana. At that time, they were desperate for just having Easter eggs around. They were just looking for literally anything. This <laughs> 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 oh, oh, has got one, though, hasn't he? Yeah, but he it was third wheel in it. <laughs> it was it was Kaido did all the work, and Fox I just happened to tag along. He, he turned up and got a few golden snakes. He's like, yeah, easy Easter egg, lads. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Listeners, I'm kidding. I'm just having a good time. They deserve it. But I'm 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 saying like, where's mine at? Yeah, yours is oh. the trader. That's I got that's mine in the trailer. Yeah. 
Someone like, had to animate. Someone had to make a texture for my thing. That's true, yeah. Rather than putting like a little text box and like, you know, a painting or something. This is a whole animation. It's good. It's good, isn't it? So, Junior, good. Junior mm. aside from Sea of Thieves, which should be the right answer, what's your favorite game of all time? Sea of Thieves is not my favorite game. It's not even on my top favorite game video game list. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened to make content over it because well, it, it's <laughs> fun to make content to see the themes because mm-hmm. I understand it. I think I understand it, the game, but it's not in my top top ten even. Okay, so what would be your absolute favorite then? Portal Two. Okay, so Portal Two, Bra- Braid, Half Life Two, Half Life Alex, Breath of the Wild. Okay. Hey. I was just playing it. <laughs> uh, Papers, Please is fun. I like but Papers, I, Please. I, yeah. I could live without it, though. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. Oh, such a good game. I'm back into it now. It's face. And then it got Halo, the trilogy, one through three. You don't you don't mess with Reach, then? Uh, I can live without Reach. What about four and five? I can live without five. What about? But not four. Like four, you have four, to four is four is okay. Actually, I like the story in four. I like four. It's a bit complicated if you haven't read the books, but it's you know it's a decent game. What about Infinite? Uh, the campaign is fantastic. I love the campaign in Infinite. <laughs> I want to play that again, but not the multiplayer. Nah, nah, they phoned that one in, didn't they? <laughs> I think a lot of the games phoned in by the um, overall sort of live well, service aspect of it well that's why we have to give rare massive props because they they do a, a damn good live service game damn good when in contrast to what everyone else does yeah obviously For, fortnite does their thing they're a good live service game uh sea thieves again we get like bi-monthly every time now and uh and uh then you look at something like halo infinite where it's like <laughs> where's this live service part People, where the fuck is it? You know, you know? That, that's really funny you bring that up because the other day, um, people were moaning about the store not having dailies and like items getting reshuffled around. And we're like, it's like two months into a season. I can't remember when it started, May, I think. Um, and the guy, one of the social media managers, came out and said, Yeah, we don't have enough store content for the whole six months. So we're going to be cycling stuff back. <laughs> what? Damn. What? Damn. For Halo Infinite? This is for Halo Infinite, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. Three for three, what are you doing? God dang. They they just they they're, they're, they seem like such an unstructured company. Three for three. It is crazy. They don't know what to do. It is crazy what they're doing over there. And though they're, they're like Xbox's biggest studio, I think. That's obviously not like Bethesda or anything. And you look at Rare, what Rare does with probably like a third of the size. I think it's easier to communicate with your employers and developers when you're smaller. <clears throat> or when you have a damn good uh, project lead who can deliver task out, but in, you read headlines on in a development CT, uh, on Halo Infinite, you have developers and leads just leaving left and right in the middle of a project. All right, we got to get a new one in. Yeah, there was a lot of that stuff coming out towards the game's launch and when it was revealed and all that fiasco, but that's a story for another time. Since you dropped the bombshell that Sea of Thieves isn't even in your top five, top ten, what content would you make that is not Sea of Thieves? Say Sea of Thieves never existed and you know you have to pick another game to make content on, what would it be? I, I do not know. But the question I ask myself when I ask what game I would bring with me, or what game I would, would have in my top 10 list is what game I would bring with me to a desert island, right? Mm-hmm. Your desert island game. Sea of Thieves just ain't it. Well, you, you know, because know. you're going to be there for a long time. I mean, a long time on a desert island. The rest of your life, only one game. Sea of Thieves ain't it. Well, no, with all the updates we've been getting. No, I mean, I'm, in the sense that you're going you're gonna to have a game that you're going to keep entertaining yourself with. That's true, you yeah. Know? And you don't have internet connections, so you can't get all the live service stuff. Well, in, in this case, you just say you have internet connection regardless. <laughs> it, right? can't, it doesn't have to be an offline game then. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like after the first day of playing, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to build another sandcastle. You know, I don't know. It's hard to say. 
Oh, Drury. But, I, I, but in, when, I, when I'm arguing with myself in my head, Sea of Thieves is not a good Desert Island game. Wow. That's, a, that's really interesting. That is a bombshell on the podcast, which is going to be good for the discussion later. Um, considering we're, you know, even though it's not your favorite game, do you at least have a favorite update for Sea of Thieves, Genie? Tall Tales. Tall Tales Drop. Like any Tall Tales or an anniversary? anniversary? Anniversary. Trial of Spoils, that was fun. Trial of uh, Spoils was good. I yeah. love, love the Pirate's Life. Damn, that Pirate's Life was good. Damn, that Pirate's Life was good. So you're very much, <clears throat> you know, you probably don't get so much from the videos you make because um, a lot of it's about player interaction, you know, other sort of nitpicks, that sort of thing. But you you didn't strike me as pers- as a person who really likes the Tall Tales as the best update. I think it just balances on the content. It's like you got to look and see if Thieves updates as phone updates. You know how Apple, when they announce a new phone, is like, this year we got the camera even better. And then this year we got faster charging. So like, all right, I'm not going to buy a new phone for a slightly better camera, which they don't expect you to. But four or five or six phones down the line, all of a sudden, all these things that start to add up. Right? Yeah. No, I see where you're coming from, yeah. So if you take like a break for Sea Thieves for six months or even a year and then come back and then you're like, oh, whoa, that's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff that's been happening. In, in, the, in that sense, then, it's like, you know, for you, Tall Tales are those big 2.0, 3.0 drops for you that are like, boom, this is a lot of content, even though it doesn't necessarily last that long in terms of replayability. What? <laughs> <laughs> So, Tall Tales, you can often play them once, twice, three times, whatever the commendations are, if you're bothered about that. But when they drop it, it's not necessarily a thing that you can repeat, like Legend of the Veil, let's say, or, you know, grinding your Reaper faction, or Emissaries, that sort of different content. You prefer having a big chunk of story content and then not having to play for six months. Well, for me, it's, it's th- I don't know if I'm going to answer your question there now with another <laughs> question. <laughs> but for me, I, I don't, I don't care for cosmetics in video games, mm-hmm. which Sea of Thieves is heavily determined on. Like your rewards is cosmetics, and if it's not cosmetics, you get coin. And what do you spend the coin on? Cosmetics. And I don't care for it. So, in the sense that uh, you can go and do the veil or anything like that over and over and over again, and just get more money. For me, it's just, nah. Like I can, I can take it. I'm there for the ride, dude. I've I've done streams where I had like a ton of loot on on the tip of my boat, and um, and be like, I can't be bothered selling this. And then tell them, ask my crewmate, do you do you want this? Nah, I just hop service. And then the chat goes, why won't you sell it? <laughs> like, I mean, I I got the clothes I don't want. <laughs> so it's more of a case of. You know, the progression in this. I'm starting to get a picture here of why Sea of Thieves is not in your top 10 here or top five. <laughs> it's because the progression is just completely in your, in not, uh, it sounds like I'm twisting your words here, but in your sense, it's just pointless to you because you don't care about clothes. The, <laughs> the, the overall reward of, co- of gold is not my end game the, the, or my satisfaction at Sea of Thieves. What I love about Sea of Thieves is, is the interactions with other players. It's so fun to fight. The naval in Sea of Thieves is good when it when it hit dredged, mm-hmm. and uh, it, you have a good time. It's so fun. I mean, the, just sinking other people, and sometimes they sink you. And if, especially fun when we meet a toxic crew, like before the battle commences, they're just riddling you with these insults, and then you sink them, and now all of a sudden they're quiet. Man, that is worth way more than gold. Way more. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So you're more on the sense that you're not driven by gold, but you like the thrill of battle and salt, really. You're salt-powered like Fuzzy Bond. Oh, dude, I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Then you got Shadow Play running and just hit record. Bye. Got you. <laughs> and then, I, then I'll store these clips in, in the in VO recordings for way down the line when I feel like I have enough for another one of those videos. I, I hope you do make another one of those because I remember watching that. It was good a couple of years ago now. Um, all your videos about people being salty, especially that kid in arena that was um, 
didn't really oh, know yeah. what he was saying. He called you like a fucking twat or something, and he was like, sounded about eight years old. Um, yeah. He says you didn't. You sh- didn't he say something like you shag your brother or something like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shag. It's that, it's, it's that. He asked me if the guy I was playing with was my brother, and then yeah, it was shag. <laughs> it's like, then I just go to my my good response of hey, just subscribe to Absolute Pixel. And what? that what? usually riles him up. Like, what? Subscribe to Absolute Pixel? I'm not going to do that. And then I cut that part out and put it at the end of that video. So at uh. the end of the video, just subscribe to Absolute Pixel from that kid. <laughs> I think he had an F-bomb in there. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to, subscribe to effing Absolute Pixel. Yeah, he was, he was a vile little shit, wasn't he? Yep, he was fantastic. Quality content. He's, pro- <laughs> he's probably from somewhere like Milton Keynes or something like that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor kid. Anyway, uh, moving quickly on last icebreaker question. Um, did you watch the Xbox showcase? And if you did, do you have an opinion on it? That's an icebreaker. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Redfall. Redfall you open with that. I liked it. I liked the presentation. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. I think the I think that what I'm looking most forward to from that update is not a capstan C. Uh, it would be uh, Forza Horizon Hot Wheels. That one I'm looking forward to. Did you play July the, 19th? Did you play the, was it Forza Horizon 3, which had the Hot Wheels expansion? No, I never did. I never got that expansion for, for Forza Horizon 3. Yeah, a lot of people were saying it was better than the Lego one we got for Forza Horizon 4. So, um, yeah, they obviously saw the popularity and brought it back for Forza Horizon 5. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. Forza Horizon is such a good game. Xbox is killing it with Game Pass, dude. Game Pass is just one of those things that I feel like is a staple of gaming. And I'm not saying there's a Sea of Thieves partner that just plays, plays Sea of Thieves. But, you know, I don't even have to think about, oh, do I need to pre-order this? Do I need to get this edition? It's like, no, I'm just going to preload it and play it for Game Pass when it comes out. And if it's crap, well, it's just part of my Game Pass subscription. And next year, what's going to happen then? We're going to get all of the Activision Blizzard catalog on Game Pass. I'm so surprised the new Call of Duty is not day one on Game Pass, but that might be announced nearer the time. Well, it depends if they get that deal through before, isn't it? The, the, the deal is said to go through next year. Because it's a lot of money they're, they're moving. A lot of money. It's going to be nice, though, getting like Crash, Spyro, Call of Duty, if you like Call of Duty. Um, the yeah. Blizzard games as well is going to be cool. Diablo will probably be on Game Pass, Diablo 4. UK asked me uh, yesterday or two days ago what I would uh, have to do to... How cheap would a Call of Duty game have to be for me to play? And I said Game Pass. Fair enough. <laughs> fair, 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 fair enough, man. <laughs> Your wish is probably going to be granted next year, so yeah. Or yeah, I can see Modern Warfare going on to that Modern Warfare Two. Sorry, sorry, Modern Warfare Two, twenty twenty two version. There we go, we got it. So, um, with that being said, now our listeners have got to know you a bit more, even though they know you already before you came on here. They um, know who I am. They know who you are. Let's they go. know who I am. I'm well, the guy. The guy. The genie. Here on the Captain Blubber podcast. See, that's it now. That's the new name, the Captain Blubber <laughs> Podcast. It's our podcast now, Ray. I came in very late. I'm not I'm not stealing this from you. You can call it the Captain Blubber Podcast if you want to, but we need a rebrand well, we, then. We, we all already have a hippo in the logo, right? So it's uh, it's good enough for me. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's that's your stamp on it. So, I... um, Jeannie, let's start with you. Hello. This is relating to Lost Sands, as we know, finished quite recently. It was about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, some, something like that. Um, yeah, just looking at the, clock, the the calendar now. What were your thoughts on the adventure as a whole? You know, as a community focused thing, was the adventure fun? Let's get your thoughts on it. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pick either side. I didn't do the adventure. Well, I I did do a rowboat on Golden mm-hmm. Sands because I joined the Fox on the stream. It's like, yeah, let's do it. That's the only time, I, the only thing I did, but I didn't like set my foot into it and let's do this adventure at all because I was so busy during that time. Man, I was busy. There we go. So, <laughs> in that sense, even if you didn't do the adventure itself, um, how do you look at community based decisions then? Do you think it was good for Rare to give us this power? I don't know. Did we get to decide? That's the question. That's the controversy, isn't it? Was it fixed? 
Was it a fix there, huh? Was that note already written in that chest that Joe Toro popped up on that reveal stream, huh? Are you really wondering if it was fixed or is it just comedic effect? No, no, we definitely had a saying it. That would be stupid if, it, if they set up this whole thing of Reapers taking over only to like backtrack it. Mm -hmm. like, they wouldn't do that I, at, at all. I think if it was a fix, then it would have Reapers would have won then because that's just more what the narrative is going for at the moment. So. Yeah, it definitely wasn't fixed. If it is, and it gets leaked, so I'll eat my hat. But, you know, I'd be very, very surprised if that was the case. It could have been, like, at the point when the um, when the Golden Sands was in the lead in the polls, their system crashed. And it just never told anybody. So for, like, the two days before the, the, the results was to be revealed, the system was just locked. You know, it crashed when it was in the lead. So, you don't know. <laughs> we don't know what would have happened, but you know the most recent result said that Golden Sands is going to win, so we'll just go with that one. It's interesting. I wonder how future decisions will be because Reapers were in the lead all the time, and just at the end of it, Merc took over, which uh, was interesting. This cheat that some people did, that they found out with <sighs> however you could save them. Yeah, I someone, heard about that. Which someone just took to the max. And just did this amazing cheese to save it. Yeah, but is... they, can, they can see in the data, right? If somebody's cheesing it and they'll filter it out. I, I feel they do that. But, you know, if you find a method of min max in your voyage, does that really count as cheesing then? I don't yeah. know. Well, is... I don't know. I don't know. All I'm, all I'm saying, the X Files theme could be playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that played a role in it because of how, you know, that. We, if you want to call it an exploit, that wasn't really known too well t until like the very end of the adventure, and then Reapers had been dominating through the whole thing, and then people seem to realize how quickly they can min max those bottles, and then it changes quite rapidly, and it swings by ten percent through the course of the two weeks. So it definitely played a role in in the victory, but you know Reapers didn't know that they could use that strategy as well because it wasn't really clear. All right. I, I I don't think it would have had that much impact on the outcome. Beanie, what do you think? I don't know. I don't know because I didn't do the adventure Fair too enough. much. Fair enough. <laughs> would be nice to see the data, right? Like, let's be fair. It would be nice to see all the numbers, but they're not doing that. Yeah. Um. They don't want people. They don't want people to know that they've found a way to clinch yep. the victory or what have you. But you know, that's by the by. Um. Personally, I think it's a good thing that we had the decision as a community. Um, obviously, Golden Sands worked harder for it, or even smarter, if you want to say. Um, I'm just a little bit disappointed with... Nah, that was know, the right um, outcome. Nah, nah. <laughs> Golden Sands needed to be saved. Uh, I don't, want, I don't want that green fog over another island. Get out of here. No, we wanted the fog, because we'll get onto it later in the podcast, because of what Golden Sands is like at the moment, and it's boring. Hey, nah. It's boring. <laughs> and it's cannons on the beaches. Cannons on the beaches. You get cannons yeah, on the beaches. Four. We probably just like cannons anyway. Arrows too. Right. Well, now you got cannons without the dang fog, my guy. Yeah, you can actually aim. <sighs> now you got you, you already have Reaper Side out, which is a which is an outpost island of kinds with cannons. But mm -hmm. now you got the good side version of it. See, right? Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. True. I do remember you saying in your last video that you hate the Shrouded Islands, you hate Fort of the Damned, you hate Reaper's Hideout, you hated Golden Sands when it was shrouded, um, and yeah. sort of Tribute Peak, but that's a bit different, but yeah. Now we got it. So now I've picked the wrong guest to back me up here, so, you know, I've made a I'm not going to back you up, I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fight twice as hard now. <laughs> On that topic, um, and Blubber, I'll want you to chime in afterwards, because we've had a discussion about this off the podcast. Um, Mm -hmm. Gina, you've made a few, oh, I say one or two videos, is it, on Lost Sands as a whole? Obviously, the last one was talking about what's really happening in the game, etc., or the mystery, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know how much you read your comments or look at social media for this sort of thing, but did you see like, much of a divide or any sort of over-the-top messages at all? Oh, uh, no. Nah. No, nah, I didn't see too much. If, if you really look for it, you, you can. 
Uh, I tried to get like in my latest video about the about the topic of Golden Sense is saved. I I, need, I wrote in the script that show a montage of terrible messages mm -hmm. of like the and it took me so long to find that those to find any messages that was harsh. Uh, at least in my bubble, uh, I, I tend to like whenever I see some some stupid hot takes on Twitter, I just click the little. I don't like this tweet. Don't show me less of these tweets. So you make this little bubble of like constructive criticisms instead of just shit talkers. I don't like that. <laughs> if you be constructive in your in your reasoning, no, that's that's the best attitude to have about it. But. If you want any salty messages, you could have DM'd either of us because we feel that we've been on the other end of it. But that's that could be partly because of the collaboration we had. But mm, um, yeah, Blubber, I want you to take this because you explained it very eloquently to me when we whenever we've discussed this off the podcast. Oh well, I don't know what you're you know aiming for exactly. Um, How you feel about the the messages and the divide? You you have a good take on it. I have so many takes on this, um, but the, but one of the things is what you said too, right? Because we were, you know, on one side of the other, and we were going against each other, and we did make videos, you know, proclaiming our own propaganda. So naturally, you see a lot of messages of people discussing that, or you know, are, are against that propaganda. So we get it a little bit more than you know, content creators that you know didn't do that. I do see people are disappointed, which is fine. You can be disappointed. I would be disappointed, um, and you see only a little bit of salt. Um, more than I thought the community will do, but you know it's what what is expected. I think um, some people are just a little bit salty, and the same would have happened if the Reapers would have won. Um, but yeah, but most people are still pretty friendly. I feel yeah. I feel the same too. It's the same with when Arena got got canned mm -hmm. when they announced that. It didn't take it. Take, they think it took like two days before everybody was like, okay, it's gone. They accepted mm -hmm. it. You know? Yeah, the the one thing that is curious because I recently also did you know a video on the new change on Golden Sense, and I still saw you know some salty messages still, and I was like, all right, maybe now is the time to to level a little bit and look forward together with everyone to the new changes that are coming. Um, but that's just me. See, I sort of had the opposite there with of both things really. Well, before Golden Sands, obviously we had the propaganda videos, and people were taking them very seriously. Um, and I think, I don't know how obvious we made it in the videos, but it was very obvious that it was propaganda. Um, and it was in the spirit of this whole, the propaganda posters, the the um, hyperbole, that sort of thing. And people I... were taking it as verbatim and they weren't using their, as Jeannie says, their sort of critical, their critical, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not looking at things with a critical eye and thinking, hang on, is this is this got a touch of irony or satire in it, or am I just buying into it and, you know, not understanding the whole point of it? Mm. Uh, yeah, I see the, the people that are mostly salty, they think, you know, content is being taken away from them. And it was either, or we get something interesting, or nothing will happen, which is not the case. But that is, you know, that's how they phrase it in the comments, which I think is a little bit unfair. Uh, I think. I see where they're coming from with that. I think the Reapers taking over would have been a more interesting fate for Golden Sands. Um, but yeah, we'll get on to the main discussion of what's happening with new Golden Sands shortly. So, um, uh, Jeannie, do you have anything to add at all before we move on to the next topic? I think uh, uh, saving Golden Sands was the right thing to do, and everyone who thinks otherwise is a dingus. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, I'm not getting angry at him for that. That's just his opinion. It's wrong, but, <laughs> but you know, mm -hmm. he's he's saying that of a touch of irony and a touch of class. Um, he's never coming back on the podcast again. But you know, you know, that's by the uh, by. I think uh, my shout out to you in my latest video was uh, uh, a mistake, and I won't do that again. <laughs> 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 it's okay if you ever need anything, law. Uh, you know, you know where Falcor is, don't you? So you can always ask him. Oh snap! I forgot about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he does law, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he, you know, some might even call him the law guy. You know, I've just had a few mumblings in the community, but I don't know if that's nah. True. You're a lore, 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 lore guy. You have, he's the lore guy. You're the lore expert. That's the way I look at it. Okay, right. Yeah. You know, gonna get DMs from Falcor fans now. Like you're a fraud. <laughs> you're a B Tech Falcor. 
Falcor from Wish, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm just Falcor um, from Wish. <laughs> what the I'm just It's <laughs> a good one. I'm just younger and more handsome than him, so you know. True. When he kicks the bucket, I'll still be around making law videos. There you go. That's quite Bye. dark. <laughs> 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 okay <laughs> move on, move on. moving on moving on <laughs> so genie are you happy with, hey. <laughs> are you happy with the new <laughs> changes to to new golden sand sorry it's not golden sands anymore yeah i like it i like it i, I like that you can spawn there i like that uh, there's cannons uh mm-hmm. i haven't used them yet uh on uh on oncoming vessels but looking forward to the day back to you cotton that's you blubber Oh, it's me. Oh, all right. I'm happy. Them. Yeah, I made a video about it. I was, but well, we we explored together, and you were like, "Oh, you are a happy puppy that gets excited with everything." And it's true. I like all these little nuts we get to the, um, you know, the, the adventure we all shared. Um, I would, I do wish the memorial was a little bit bigger. Like, you know, a painting of Merrick would be nice. You know, or something else that that is a bit bigger. It's something we can read and say, "Oh, here, here we fought the battle for Golden Sands" or something like that. It's not there. And obviously, all the NPCs now they have their default dialogue, which is I'm I'm pretty disappointed with that. But that's the only thing. Um, oh, and while we're on the topic, uh, we see some rebuilding, but we don't see anything new being built. And there is a lot of space with Golden Sands, and maybe they have something planned for the future. I don't know, but it would be nice to at least see something new being built, like just some construction. Um, just to make us wondering what's going to happen and, you know, to give us some more fuel for, for the discussions as well. So interest to our bad cave. Well, the Pirate Lord has taken interest, so I'm thinking along do- those lines. Will we see, you know, Athena's fortune coming to the surface? Will Blind Bob have his own weapon shop uh, at Golden Sands? I'm, I'm thinking along those lines at the moment. I think the Pirate Lord is a fraud. I think he's a hack fraud. I think he stole his way to that position he's in. I think he's. I think he's talking shit. Okay. I think his backstory is horse shit. When we do Shores of Gold, he comes in and do this big ass speech, right? Mm-hmm. He's telling us, "Hey, don't touch this gold, though." <laughs> hey, you did it! You did it! Don't touch this gold, though. Just take your skull and get out of here, you little bugger. <laughs> and then the moment we left, he just brings in his ghost crew. I <laughs> pick, pick it up. Pick up all the gold. They're gone. <laughs> they fell for it. And he's just sitting on a throne of gold, and he's gonna rule the the, the seas in like three years' time. Like, ha, 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 you idiots! I got the gold from the from the gold hoarder. What are you doing? You could have taken it up. Nah, I got it now. I got all the cosmetics, still, and then some. And he still wears the maiden voyage stuff from day one. Dude, he's gonna come out pimping. He's gonna be a big ass pimp hat, pimp cane. He's gonna come out pimping, dude. You can tell. One day he's just sat in the tavern, isn't he? He's like, I lost all my gold to the gold orders because they've got the keys now. How am I gonna get this back? And he just hatches a plan to get some random crew to go and kill the gold order so he can steal the quote unquote cursed gold. It's about the glory, not the gold. Forget about the gold. Do you, <laughs> do you think Sea of Thieves is a simulation? Like in, in the world? Do you think it's like, set, like set in our real world, like sort of canonically? Yeah, sort of. The only reason I'm saying that's because in the latest season seven trailer, they acknowledge that Game Pass exists. Oh yeah. So and that true. you can't and you can't name your ship any profanities, because they, their system will pick it up. They know. They <laughs> know, man. They know about Game Pass. Get X X Files, Steve. <laughs> You're going to have to edit that in. We'll see. We'll see. Do it. I'm just happy I'm not doing my uh, bleeps anymore. Uh, otherwise, I'll be uh, done after a week. No, dude, but, it's so easy, though, from my perspective, when I'm sitting there thinking like that. So that's the sort of videos I love to make. It's just take, take, taking what you know and twist it. Second job. I, hey, hold on, guys. Real talk. They know I, about Game Pass. How deep does this really go? And from there, you can just snowball it. <laughs> yeah, because if they know about that, then this is probably believable too. Some other stuff. Well, to be fair to Rare, they have a history of you know self-aware video game characters, like uh, in Banjo Tooie, for example, Bottles dies, and Kazooie is like, well, he wasn't the favorite character of the first game anyway, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but they, they have <laughs> so characters. They, they, they have self-aware. You go, Cotton. Cotton, go. 
What is this cotton? What Dodge. is this? What is this reference? I don't get it. Dodgeball by with Wins Vaughn and Ben Stiller. All right, I have seen that, but it's been a while. All right, <laughs> uh, but no, that's all I wanted to say. Like, like it, it's a rare history, right? Like self rare video game characters. It's not to that. I see it like that. Yeah, but Ban- what I was gonna say is Magic Suit. That characters tell you to hey, press the A button to jump. <laughs> like, hold on, what? How do you know about that? How do you know about this? There's people I... in Ocarina of Time who sit on top of a roof. You see targeting. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, girl, up there on the, on the roof? See targeting. Uh... Okay. <laughs> if you don't make this video within the next four weeks, I'll be very disappointed in you, Genie. I could try. I think, oh, you know, it doesn't have to be four weeks, but I expect a full, full video on Xbox Game Pass and the characters being self-aware. As of this recording of this podcast, I do not know what my next video will be. I have some ideas, but that could be a fun one. Never let them know your next movie. Well, how, do, how, how, how do they know if I don't know? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's always a surprise when a new video comes out. Well, I, I, I have like three, three ideas currently that is like the top contenders for my next video. Because so I'm just j- juggling between these three projects to mm-hmm. see which one sticks. And now I guess I got a fourth. So there you, go. there you go. That's the next four years of videos. Four years of videos. There you go. And people don't know when they're going to be released. Is it going to be four in one week? Is it going to be once a fortnight? Is it going to be once a year? They don't know. Depends on how much I got added from MathPat. No, oh, yeah, that's true. He's he's cranking, he's cranking you, isn't he? He's cracking the whip. I got a new one I'm editing currently, starting today. Are you allowed to tell Mathpad. us what that is? Nope. Fair Contractually, enough. I'm not allowed. Fair enough. We won't force out of you. You can DM it us afterwards if you want. You know. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. So now that we're all discussed, Golden Sands, uh, and oh, sorry, New Golden Sands. Love the name, by the way. Um, what do you expect to come from Golden Sands? Sorry, New Golden Sands. I, th- I think where we all thought it was going to be like this battle of Golden Sands, you know, where it's going to be this big ass battle. I think Rare thought so too. During the thing, like people are going to post themselves up on Golden Sands to protect it. That didn't happen. Uh, so I, I would like, I would like the Reapers to be like sore losers to be like, let's give it another go. Let's give this another go. And you remember back in the in the third update, I believe, or the second one with the timed events of the like this of the fleets, mm-hmm. the cursed skeleton ships. Yeah, like I think I think it would be a good idea to have bring that sort of back, like timed timed events where. The Reapers will come in and try and attack again, a second attempt. And then what, what could happen is that either you join them or you don't. Okay, I see. So it's almost like a PvPVE event where you can help the Reapers and then you get rewarded, or you can fight the Reapers and then get rewarded as well if you manage to defeat them, that sort of yeah. thing. Okay. But I also think it shouldn't be Golden Sands due to Dagger Tooth. <laughs> so, I don't like Dagger Tooth. So Reapers will win then if it's Dagger Tooth. Oh, absolutely, dude! I will, <laughs> I will stand on that bowsprit proudly on the Reaper's side. Attack that island, take it back. I don't want it. That one you can keep. And Blubber, what do you think is going to come from New Golden Sands? Then, obviously, that we need to see the Pirate Lord's involvement, uh, and also uh, some hints that you know the Hunter Skull is going to set up shop there. Uh, you know, with the flag and uh, with the the police system, it's also you know with the symbol of the hunters. Um, I mean, if it was an outpost to sell fish, it would be really lame. <laughs> A lot of people are thinking that and getting excited about it. And sure, it can look cool, but do we really need you know a place to sell fish and outposts now? Um, but maybe maybe we can buy you know hunters' voyages there. Who knows? Oh, that would be shit, wouldn't it? God, no, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> It would. That would be that would be awesome. One specific place that you can only buy a certain amount of voyages, a certain kind of voyages. That's great. That's uh, great. Yeah, Ray. We lost the skeleton cast for this. You know that. Mike's already told me. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's not look, true. You look like a skeleton with a bug easily, so you don't need it. See, no one wants to be a skeleton. I want to be a skeleton. No, you don't. Yes, you're I just, do. He's just. Trying to figure up reasons for you to be mad right now. No, I want to be a skeleton. Nah, you'll stop lying to yourself. Yes, you yes. You're lying to yourself, you do, Nagel. 
Stop being I want, stop I want, being a, drink. I want a drink from the cursed sippy cup. The Tommy Tippy. I want a drink from that. I want a drink from that. I want my skin to fall off, my organs to fall out. Mm. You know, maybe a bit of flame magic and stuff. And then I'm going to put my clothes back on and it's all going to be dandy and people are going to be scared of me. You're it's the lore happen. expert, Shiny Ray, so you probably have to answer this. When a pirate dies, he goes to the fair of the damned. Yeah. Why don't skellies? They do. Is it another fairy? So, oh, I'm going to have to get into this. So, it depends on who it is. So, like, in a sense, when you turn into a skeleton, your soul is also bound to your remains. So, you need someone to break that away. Is this a yes or no question? <laughs> yes. All right, moving on. <laughs> you set me up wonderfully. There. Well done. <laughs> you took my guard down. <laughs> Okay, so uh, moving on after you just embarrassed me. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> me getting ready to answer all serious. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. how does it feel? Because I never asked Charlie Chapman, how does it feel when that happens to you? Do you feel? Do you feel betrayed? I feel betrayed. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> if we get him on the podcast, we're gonna have to set him up for one like that, just out of the blue. Just out of the blue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shoot. <laughs> Maybe we could, we could sneak you in, Genie, just for a quick question. Take, you know, yeah, get him all yeah. settled in, then bring you in. You can see, see in the beginning of that interview video that in the first 50% of that video, he's like, huh? What? What? He's not really comfortable, but on the last bit, it's like, okay, I understand what's happening. I understand what's going on. I'm into it. <laughs> You guys, is best. It is, yeah. It's, it was a brilliant video. I, I would class it as an interview, actually, because it's very in depth. It took a while for me to get used to that video, too, because I was like, all right, now we're going to get some lore questions. I'm excited what Genie has, uh, has in store. And it's like one big joke. I was like, what? You got Mike and you're not going to ask him about, I don't know, like the difference between gems or something like that? And nope. And then, all right, all right I see where this. Uh, where this video is going so it took even your viewers needed to do it just little genie i saw some comments being like he was about to tell you about arena <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate troll <laughs> you, you stopped him <laughs> oh dear okay uh, moving on then what do you expect for a future adventure uh blubber we'll have you first so, so for future adventures where we can make the decision, I don't want it to be Reapers versus Athena because I think that's pretty lame. I will be, you know, Athena again, and the, the Reapers that chose Reapers before are going to be Reapers again. So you get the same people in the same boxes going against each other, which I don't, I don't think it's interesting at all. I want you know people to 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 you know change their opinion and change their choices and really think about what they're going to choose this time. I don't want it to be easy. So I've mentioned before mashups between what if it's Duke versus Bell or Flameheart versus Flameheart Jr. Maybe there's some infighting. So I do hope that future choices will be like that because if it's going to be Reaper Athena again, it's just it's just boring. It's just going to be the same people going against each other. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's my two cents on, uh, on future ventures. Genie, what about you? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it makes sense, you know. At least you're consistent. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever comes, comes. I have no expectations for these adventures. I, I'm just happy to be delivered what they give us, you know. Do you, mm. do you like the adventures? I assume for you, a shiny ray, Kwasa, uh lore <laughs> expert. You're like this. Uh, I see what this brings to the lore. For me, it's just another checklist. You know, it's just another checklist that you got to do. And mm -hmm. I'm sure rare things of that. Like, since so some of this is just going to be another, here's, here's a list of stuff to do and get the little green tick and be done with it. But and, you know, others who are like, all right, let's get into this. Let's see, let's see what the story is. I don't, I don't care too much for the Sea of Thieves lore. I don't. Mm -hmm. So I make my own. <laughs> I think that, you know, the, 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 the shipwright keeps hammering on that barrel lid. Yeah. I don't think it's a barrel lid. I think it's a wheel. She's inventing the car. <laughs> so it takes time. She just got to get that combustion engine going. Jesus. Do, do you think of these like on the fly or are you sat in bed at night thinking, 
What's yeah. That? What's, is that a wheel or a barrel? No, or? I have a Google Doc, which is just called Sea Thieves Video Ideas. And it is now mm. two pages long. And one of them is that this she is working on a wheel. The shipwright is working on a wheel. That is it. And from there, I can just take it and snowball it, you know. And what happens most of the time is that it will I will merge multiple ideas. Like for instance, on my on my Golden Senses Save video, you click on that video. All right, absolute pixel is gonna share his two cents on this thing, but no. It's actually about the mystery, how much he doesn't give a shit about it. I find that so funny from, from my perspective when people click one thing and then they get another thing. Because I couldn't fill out like 16 minutes of just talking about Golden Sands. Mm -hmm. To me, that doesn't sound, I apologize if any of you have done this. To me, that doesn't sound like a fun watch from like just this, the pitch of being, he's going to talk about Golden Sands for 16 minutes. Be like, okay, probably not gonna watch that. <laughs> but that is just well, me because I don't care. I don't. I don't care about the lore. Yeah, it it, it it it's it's very opinion based, of course. It, it uh, I don't. I don't want to take that away from anybody who 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 enjoys that sort of stuff. It's just personal preference. No, mm. no, you raise a good point there. So I don't think your subscriber base would expect you to talk about golden sands law for 16 minutes because no one would click on that video exactly yeah. whereas mm. you know if it was someone like falcor and he's like mysteries of golden sands people are like yeah there's falcor yeah, it it up. Talk. absolutely exactly. yeah so yeah. it's playing to user base and if you're someone who's made sort of like more comedy focused videos and these crazy theories that are you know tongue-in-cheek that sort of thing that's what they expect from you so why would you not give them that i just like having a good time there we go. I, I, and to be fair, as a content creator myself, I, I prefer watching Genie over, you know, people that do something similar than I do. You don't want to watch other uh, content creators that do similar stuff to you? This is, again, a personal opinion because you can end up being influenced by it and mm -hmm. you're no longer in using your own idea. Aye, indeed. You feel me? You see where I'm going with this? If you were to watch uh, a Shine Array videos as a lore video maker, then all of a sudden you might be influenced. But to, to like, oh, that's actually a good take. And then you like click off and go back to write new script or whatever. And then all of a sudden, you have, without knowing really that you pretty much based your ne next new script on a video you just watched. I it, it can happen. It can happen, and it's scary because then all of a sudden in the video comment section, people are like, this is awfully similar to a shiny race video. So I'm like, oh, my God, you're right. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be that guy. I mean, I have been accused in the comments of copying you know, other creators, but I know that's not true, so that's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, obviously, you don't go in with that intent. Aye. But it can happen subconsciously in the video making process. Oh well, yeah. Sometimes, like, yeah, I'm sure I'm I'm influenced by a lot of people, including you, obviously. I always feel like editing when I watch your video. I'm like, oh man, Genie, that's so good. I'm but it's the thing. It's the thing when, like, when I do my what I call my let's plays mm -hmm. of when when I sh when I shoot the cannons, I like to like do this rapid cannon firing shots. And I've seen people, other people, start using that editing thing, and then people say, "Hey, this guy stole your thing." I like. No, it's just a smart move because shooting cans over and over again is quite boring to watch. So, do, please, please, that's a thing you can do. Just do the rapid cut if you feel like we know what's happening. It's going to shoot, it's going to hit, it's going to rinse, repeat. That's the way it goes. So, the faster you get past that part where the viewer knows the outcome of the actions, then I think it's a better flow for the video. So, mm. please do the rapid cut cannon shooting. Yeah, I've I've learned some things from you as well with with music editing. You know, when something exciting is happening, you know, play some you know a quick burst of you know exciting music as well. Um, yeah, and I learned that from you, and that helped me. Yeah, only yeah. used once or twice, but still. <laughs> music is a powerful tool. It is. I. So Shiner, have you stolen things from anyone? Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's hot yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you have that. So that we know. 
Oh dear. <laughs> what do, what do you think I've stolen from people? No, no I, was, I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was not accusing you of anything. You, you shut him up. He's quiet now. <laughs> he's, he's looking at the script for the next topic. <laughs> 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 lost <laughs> <his> <laughs> He's like, where were we? <laughs> it's funny, actually, you do bring up that because um, I do remember one comment I had was like, <laughs> I'm going to name drop here. And obviously, I've discussed this with this person as well. But someone brought up the fact that me and Falcord both made the prediction that Golden Sands would be shrouded in 2022. Bold prediction. Bold prediction. You know, <laughs> even though the teaser said exactly that would happen. Um, and he t- accused me of saying, don't go the way of Falcor and copy his his predictions. And I'm like, so you want me to make a wrong prediction just for the sake of being different? Is is that is that what you're asking me? So, yeah, yeah. That, that you can't do. That is like a prediction is a prediction is a prediction. Mm-hmm. Hi. So if, if you do your research and your prediction lands on that, why not report on it? Exactly. And the whole point of it was, do you think that, you know, multiple people, it's just not two people making more videos, multiple people are saying this is going to happen. Do you think the likelihood of it happening is going to be a thing? Because it was and it happened. But that's only because the teaser was so obvious about it. So, yeah, it was a funny angle to come from. But, you know, um, I like Falco's thumbnails. They're very inspirational. So we'll leave it <laughs> at that. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on then. Um, Genie, this, hey. I think I know your answer. <laughs> okay. Because of what it entails, but how do you feel about Captain C coming to the game? I wonder if you can pay extra to center that bad boy. Well, that'll be an option, like as part of yeah. the captain, you can center the cap stand. Yeah. But then you wouldn't get your Easter egg anymore because that Easter egg in the trailer would be wrong. Because although they uh, they would still be deliberately uncentered. So, um, do, do you think there are people listening to this who don't know what Easter egg we're talking about? No. No. They know. No. They know it's a yeah. big meme in the community. Come on, uh, all right. Maybe say for that one person that's still confused, right? Let's be good hosts. No, no. Good Genie <laughs> will say it because it's Genie's <laughs> Easter egg. In the in the Sea Thief season seven trailer, this pirate comes out, starts singing, and he holds down a list of like all the things that'll come to the update to season seven. At, and the list is so long, it comes all the way down to the floor and it curves. It bends outwards a little bit, so you can't really. So, but there's another thing written at the very bottom of that curve, but you can't read it because it's curved off the floor. Then when he throws it away for a couple of frames, you can see what it says on the very bottom, and it says deliberately uncentered and uncentered captions, and that is that is it. All right, it's really cool. It's 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 nice to be in the same club with you, Gene, that we both have our Easter egg, and the shiny race still doesn't. Wait, you have an Easter egg? Mm-hmm. I got a ship named after me. It's called Blubber's Bane. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Rare declined adding shiny Rayquazas as an, you know, an AI threat <laughs> into the game. So <laughs> they said something about like copyright or like in Nintendo being angry about it. I don't know. I didn't really listen, but the answer was no. So I was disappointed about that. I mean, to be fair, like a shiny Stingrays in the game would be nice. That would be, people wouldn't get that reference. I would. It's fine. It's all that you matters. <laughs> no, people would get that. A shiny stingray. Come on. I Come don't... on. We need more life anyway in the seas. Rays, I dolphins, don't... whales. Hippos. And a shiny Dude. rays. Not hippos, right. no. You've already got your Easter egg. <laughs> There's no, all right, fair enough. There's no fair genies, enough. though. You could have genies and, um, <laughs> you know, you could have the uncentered cap stands. I'll just start mentioning rocks. For some reason, and it just look at every island just has an Easter egg on me. There's rocks everywhere. Is that me? I do that. <laughs> See, everyone says, Why isn't Falcor got an Easter egg? But he's literally in, he's got so many Easter eggs. Think how many captains are in there named after him. Oh my God. Yeah, that's true. I think, you know, we're just, we're not reading between the lines here. But then you got Captain Nash Bacon. Yeah, that's, that's Falcor's Easter egg, isn't it? Captain. Yeah, Captain. Yeah, but there's another CD partner called Captain Ash Bacon. Yeah, but she's named after Captain Falco. You dingus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, doesn't that Falco a beard? No, that's beard again. Yeah, the beard. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, on, if we're going to stay on this topic, because I quite like it, we'll have to mention it another time as well. But um, what is the 
what's the coolest Easter egg for like a communion member? Off the top of everyone's head. In the season seven trailer, he like <laughs> uh, I don't know if you see it, he holds down a, like a list of like things that <laughs> change coming to the game. And it's so long that it hits the floor and it curves, right? So but when he throws it away, you can like see what it says on the bottom. Of the list is just deliberately <laughs> uncentered captions, and it has a little nod in my I think that's pretty cool. I I think the ship Blizzard's Bane. That's my that's the, the best that's, one. That's a yeah. good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I I I've got two. It's joint two. So one of them. Is... Shall we move on? <laughs> <laughs> no, can, can, can go, so go, you've, go. Got the, you've got the dirty rotten build rat jacket haven't you and that's that's made after fox dies you know day-to-day -day clothing so that's a nice one you've got the snakes haven't you where you know kaida raft did all that effort getting all those snakes putting them on the fort and then she called fox die at the 11th hour and he got the easter egg so that's my favorite one such a good one it's such a Bye. good one <laughs> okay so as kevin sees basically about cosmetics i take it you're not fussed about it you're not asked about it you don't care um, I want to have a dope ass neon carpet in my captain's quarters. I think that would be cool. Just the carpet. That's the only thing you're going to uh, change. I want to. I want to have LED light bulbs in my chandelier to be environmentally <laughs> friendly. I can't wait to to change my my bed sheets. Oh my god, it's going to be great. And I want um, an IKEA chair as, as my captain's table. Uh, my captain's chair. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Do you have his name in mind? Please. Yeah, I have. I have two names. So me and me and UK are going to name <laughs> one of our ships, uh, Slapshot Regatta, from the hit film. Uh, I think it's 2010, maybe 12, maybe earlier. Guy yeah, called uh, She's Out of My League, Slapshot Regatta. I have that, and I'm thinking of calling my sloop the Nitpicker. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that. I'm thinking about it. You've we'll got, see. You've got like four weeks to think about it anyway. I do. Yeah, because otherwise we'd be uh, we'll be doing captaincy right now. But you know, rare couldn't make the cut. You know, you know, just saying. Yeah. Five months a season. And not you know, salty. In, you know, in, in Minecraft, there's if you name an animal a certain thing or name anything a certain thing, the that NPC becomes upside down. Whatever. There's a thing in that. And see thieves where you name your <laughs> ship a certain thing and it just sails upside down. They've got the technology to turn the ships upside down and they get stuck like that. Dude, it's gonna be fun. So I wonder if there's like a naming Easter egg. Turn that if bug you, into a feature. If you name your jump boat like the Joe Neat, it just becomes really slow. <laughs> <laughs> you can never get floof. You can never get wind in your sails. If you name it like something profanity. <laughs> Imagine that. If if the disabled profanity filter, you name it like like the most ob obnoxious thing, the profanity filter kicks it up, but it won't like tell you you can't deny it. You can keep the name, but you can never get wind. You can never get wind in your sails. Oh, well, you can just never raise the anchor ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> Pull the sails down. I thought we raised the anchor. No, it's down again. Oh, okay. Do you think Someone maybe it's the ship name? It up. <laughs> Someone has to hold on to it. Otherwise it keeps dropping. <laughs> uh, do you think we should change the name? No, I paid for this. <laughs> no one else no, has the name. I'm quite excited for Captaincy. I am. I think it's I think it's gonna be fun. We had a we had a big like talk with the developers about this and they are pretty pumped about it too. Mm -hmm. and yeah. We went, it's just great. Yeah, you were there because you're a partner. Not you, Blubber. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> uh, not yet. One day. One day. I'm working on it. It's going to be great. They seem pretty excited about it. Yeah, and I can stop making videos about it, which is, you know, going to be weird for me. Speaking of which, like, <clears throat> obviously this thing is, is in Insiders. You know, you, you've you seen those videos where, where, people, where people are like... <laughs> Uh, Capstan C is coming. It's my prediction. <laughs> the day after it hit Insiders. Yes. Like, 
You think so? That's a good, that's a good take. Let's see what happens. I blame Falcor for these comments. <laughs> he started this whole loss and inside of things, and now people are just hinting to it in the comment section. I also like Genie when they go, um, "Oh, you're gonna love the next season before it's announced," and you're like. I know captaincy is coming. Like I am, I am playing on inside. Did you not realize that? But yeah. <laughs> or people send you stuff and they're like, "Oh, you should be aware of this." I'm like, I've literally known about that for four weeks. Like I get so people good. in the heart in the right in the right their hearts are in the right place, but you know it's sort of part of my job to be up to date on what's sort of happening with the game. Otherwise, you know, you ain't shiny no more. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I just lose my job. Aye. Exactly. But yeah, sorry. What were we talking about? Captain C. Captain C naming ships and uh, yeah. And the developers that, are really excited up. about it. You can name your ship and then you can't sail. <laughs> you got it in there. I got it in. I got it in. <laughs> well, but don't blur it. Actually, no, you're going to have to because as soon as you drop that, that's demonetized. What? Why you? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're allowed to say once. I mean, now I have to believe one of them. <laughs> Wait, you can't say... So you can only say <laughs> once, not no, twice. Yeah. No, I think it's... it's no, soon thanks you... for bleeping it again, Jimmy. What is it with, what it's is like it? a repeat from the last podcast. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can't say... <laughs> oh, my God! Just get them all out of your system now. <laughs> Come on, Genie. Nah, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, I, it's not comedic anymore, right? <laughs> 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 I think you uh I think you said that a bit too soon, didn't you? Okay. You're genius the master of timing. There oh, you yeah. go. You know, comedic timing is his thing, isn't it? Hi. He's gonna save one for us later, I bet. He's thinking about it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so Blubber, um, how do you feel yeah. about Captain C finally coming to the game? Well, I'm less excited than you. People who watched your stream together, you know, when the reveal came, you were talking and I was like, Oh, I see thieves and after that I was quiet. Uh, I'm really excited to name my ship. I mean, that's a wish we all had. Uh, I'm a bit fearful about the other changes because we don't really know how we earn all those cosmetics and you know what the captain's log entails and what these you know choosing your own path is. So it could suck. It could be really great. Uh, I might make a video about it later. So there you go. I'm obviously really excited about it. There's a few elements that I'm not too happy about. Yeah, I wouldn't say any more. <laughs> um, all right. But yeah, um, I'm really excited, and this is the most excited I've been for a season since probably even more than season three, because um, I've been begging for this for ages, and it's going to be nice to be able to actually name my ship and customize the cab captain's cabin, and you know, we'll always be sailing on my ship because. What are you going to name yours? Mine. Yeah. Oh, I've got three names, but they're not as funny as yours. Well, share with the group. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. So I've got uh, three ships in mind, all galleons. I've got Emerald Dragon, which is sort of like Rayquaza hint. Uh -huh, so smart. Crimson Phoenix, <laughs> um, which has got Phoenix on the thing. And I've got my original ship, the Bloody Leviathan, which is the Inky Kraken stuff and some other bits mixed in. But yeah, nothing too comedic, very serious and edgy. I like it. Cool. So, sometimes you've got to take life seriously. <laughs> like right now. Like right now, <laughs> blubber. What's yours? Yeah, not not serious at all. It's going to be the salty hippo, bad ship, crazy, uh, and mud plugger. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what's That's the good. last one? Mud plugger. What does that mean? Mud plugger. Yeah. It's like you pluck, like like plowing. Like you plowing. know, you know this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go around ramming people. It's... That's what it's you like mean, like bumming. Ramstrad. My ship's called, called Ramstrad. Wait, but no, you have to answer the question. Is mud plucking like bumming? No, it's not. It's mud plugger. It's like it's like you sail, but not through water, but through Ooh. mud. So you're plugging the mud. Nah, where's that from? It is named after another ship. It's supposedly, you know me, I'm a Rare fan. And Rare was working on Project Dream. It used to have a huge pirate theme, and the antagonist was... Captain Black Guy. We all know this. And his ship, unconfirmed, the composer of Project Dream, unconfirmed, they said his ship would have been called the Mud Plugger. And that's why, that's that's how I came up with the name. Well, not came up with the name, kind of stole it, but that's how I stole it. God, that looks, that makes me look really bad. Not only as a rare fan, but really immature for thinking it means something else. To be fair, there is, there is a ship called the, the Plunder Trumpet, and 
I know there's some innuendo going on uh, with some of these ships' names in Sea of Thieves, so it, I, it's fine. You're gonna tell me next. There's one called the Rusty Trombone, aren't you? Oh, you can find cool. this podcast on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the the um the what you call it the podcasting, sorry, the podcast hosting service is just offered that, so we'll get that on there soon. We gotta get mud mud plugging right away. <laughs> <laughs> New category, God. Uh, <laughs> the tone would definitely be raised with this podcast. <laughs> uh, indeed, uh, it's what we expected. It's fine. Okay, right. I think I think that pretty much does it. Is there anything else you want to bring up, Genie, that you want to discuss, Sea of Thieves wise, that's coming up soon? Yeah, I got a question for Blubber. What is your favorite game? My favorite. Oh man, I've answered it so many times. It's uh, it's Benji Kazooie. What is your favorite game of Shiny Ray? Aside from Sea of Thieves, it's Spyro 2. Alright. There we go. go. I also have one more question for both of you. Okay. Who killed the Marco? The low player base. <laughs> the low social media <laughs> engagement. That's great. Actually that's, that's a perfect answer, thank you. Actually, do we have should we have a brief discussion how we feel no, about that? No, 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 no. <laughs> Like, like, I guess we're having it now, uh, but I, I decided not to make any content about it because it's changing so much. I follow it, but do I really care? Eh, it's going to no, be no. like, it's going to be, this is what's going to happen with the mystery. It's going to be like, oh, another clue is dropped. All right, let's get to it. And then it's like, oh, okay, we figured it out. And now we got to get 5,000 treats. Yep. And then at the end of it all, it's going to be like, it was Dorothy, you dinguses. Dorothy right. did it. It's like, who's Dorothy? Exactly. It's it's gonna be something like that. It's gonna be like the Reapers did it. I I hope it will be satisfying. That's that's my only wish about these mysteries. Hmm. I don't think I think I think they did wrong by time gating it too much. Mm. It's too much time gating. Um I, I don't I don't I don't like it. Yeah. I lost I don't I lost the interest, I should say. Yeah, I think the Twitter engagement thing killed it for me. And by the time any clues are released, you have people that are literally watching it tick up and will go and get the clues, so you don't even have a chance to discover it yourself. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So with that, we've come to the end of the podcast. I also want to remind our listeners that this podcast is also available on Spotify and Amazon Music, so if that's more convenient for you, you can listen to us there. Keep in yeah, mind. Tell them, tell them that at the end of the podcast when they listen to it on YouTube. Like, dang it, I could have used this. I could have used this on Spotify. Dang it! <laughs> I've been. I paid for YouTube Premium for this, so I could listen to this at work without having the screen on. <laughs> Damn it! I could have used Spotify. Tell me that now, at the end. All right, going over. <laughs> they know for next time now, at least. Hi. <laughs> Keep in mind that the new episode premiere on YouTube will also be available on Spotify and Amazon a few days later, so you'll have to wait a little bit. And you can also follow us on Twitter at Best Sea of Thieves Podcast. Link is in the description. Um, and I also want to thank my wonderful co-host for helping out helping me out with this episode. So Blubber, can you tell the listeners where they can find your content other than right here on this channel? <laughs> Well, that's that's the only place my content can be found. But yeah, if you if you are listening to this on Spotify, just type in Captain Blubber on YouTube, and you will be you will find me. And that's it. And Genie, would you like to tell the well? They all know who you are, but would you like to tell the people that don't know who you are where they can find your content? Hello, I am uh, the Genie. I have a YouTube channel called Absolute Pixel. Uh, just click the link in the top of the description on YouTube, uh, and you can find my YouTube channel like that. Uh, I do stream sometimes, but I, but I like to call myself a streamer. I call myself a YouTuber. Perfect, thank you. And you can find me at a shiny rate on YouTube. Just uh, go to the bar and search Captain Falcor and you'll find my videos. So yeah, that's it. Thanks again. Drink some grog, name your ships, and have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, go to the toilet quickly before we do the outro. But um, uh, yeah, sorry, I've been drinking. Let's keep morning. it for five more minutes. Dude, do you just grab your piss bottle. Yeah, that's what we do. Aren't you Hang a on. pro gamer? Yeah, grabbing the <laughs> piss bowl. Oh, I'm gonna get that for your birthday, shit bucket. What a. <laughs>